Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to my uh, colleagues from the House, uh, Deputy Speaker Milen Albano, uh, Congressman Giorgio Unico, Congressman Jonas Cortez, as mga ating bisita, local government officials. Uh, Pasensya na kayo, nagantay, may bumisita at hindi ko naman mapalis sa opisina kaagad. Kaya nausap ko muna. But uh, we have a number of bills on the agenda and uh, without further ado, uh, time is of the essence given the short number of weeks left. So we have with us, um, we have here rather, after the COMSEC, we will tackle these bills uh, as indicated on the agenda. So maybe we'll ask the committee secretary to I uh, briefly acknowledge all our guests. Thank you again for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon. For this afternoon, we have the following guests. Representative Jonas Cortez, 6th District of Cebu. We have Representative Mylene Garcia Albano, 2nd District, Davao City. Representative Renato Unico, 1st District, Camarines Norte. We also have um, representative of um, Representative Jose Carlos Cari is represented by his Chief of Staff Attorney Eleanor Agnes Abeliar. Representative Jennifer Austria Barzaga, 4th District of Cavite, is represented by Ms. Bernadette Laurel, her Chief of Staff. From the Bohol, we have the following officials, Mayor Leonila Montero of Panglao Bohol, together with the members of the Sangguniang Bayan, Councillor Yolando Hermachuelos, Councillor Dennis Hora, Councillor Bisho Velasco, Councillor Noel Hormachuelos, and Mr. Jarius Foderanan, the Municipal Planning and Development Coordinator. We also have the City Administrator of Pasay City, Attorney Dennis Acorda, and with him is Barangay Chairman of Barangay 201 Pasay City, Barangay Captain Jaime Bontilao. From the National Historical Commission, we have Ms. Maria Shalito Reno, Supervising History Researcher, from the COMELEC, we have Attorney Rosanne de la Cruz Reyes of the Law Department. From the Home Development Mutual Fund or PAGIBIG, Attorney Stephanie Marie Narvaez of the Legal Service. We also have Yusek Antonio Gallardo of PLLO, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, salamat po for waiting and thank you again for coming. Uh, we'd like to do this quickly, so maybe we'll take up the bill first of uh, Kong Jonas and then we'll go to uh, the Deputy Speaker Garcia Albana's bill. Then Congressman Onico's bill, since they're the ones here present and they have to go back to the House. So let's, co uh, let's call uh, House Bill 8511. Uh, Congressman Cortez, would you like to say anything in support of the sponsorship? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, magandang po. Uh, House Bill 8511 seeks to separate Mandawi City from the current 6th uh, District of the Province of Cebu uh, in order to create a uh, Congressional District of uh, Mandawi City. On June 21, 1969, uh, Republic Act 5519, otherwise known as the uh, Charter of Mandawi City, was signed into law. And uh, the future of Mandawi was crafted by men and women who, um, who believe that this single step of making Mandawi into a city will amount to greater things in the lives of uh, Mandawi Hanons. Indeed, in, um, in, uh, on August uh, on, on August, uh, February 15, rather, 1991, the city of Mandawi was officially declared as highly urbanized city by the uh, Department of uh, Local Government. And um, Mr. Chairman, uh, the, uh, the passage of this bill has long been ardently requested by the good people of Mandawi in order to raise the current status of our beloved city into its well-deserved position. The bill will accord the city and its constituents the right to enjoy the privileges appurtenant to a leg legally declared congressional district and will ultimately redound to the benefit of the people of Mandawi, Mandawi City, but also of the sixth district by way of better welfare and benefits. Mr. Chairman, um, the passage of the bill is um, uh, uh, the, the early passage is early earnestly sought. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Jonas. Uh, I think there are qualifications under the local government code, and I think it meets the qualifications. Tama ba, Yes. Yeah, so can we hear from the DILG? Is the DILG here? 
Uh, they send the regrets. They send the paper. Okay, they will send the position paper. So, who, who are the other resource persons for this bill? This is Comelec. Comelec? Where's Comelec? Hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Where's the Chair. the list of resource persons for the bills? By oh. bill, by bill. That's it? So, uh, we have uh, Attorney De La Cruz Reyes. Yes. Yeah, ma'am? Yes, uh, from the Comelec, um, sir, we pose no objection to the passage of the bill, sir. Considering that this is only um, um, creation of a legislative district, there is no an election, um, election activities, no plebiscite. Um, we pose no objection um, to the passage of the bill, sir, and we fully support the same. So no changes to the bill at all? No. Okay, okay, good, that's better. So we can just refer it to the plenary straight, no, without any. Uh, since the ILG is not here, anyone else who wants to comment on this bill? How about the local government? Kong, okay, okay, naman sila. Yung local government is in support of this. Oh. Okay. Uh, my attention has been called to a resolution of Sangguniang Panlansod in support. So, okay. So I think, uh, <laughs> as brief as it may be, DBM, would you care to comment on this? Yes, sir. Wala naman po, Mr. Chair. You look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Wala na po comment, sir. Doon okay. po sa benefits. Sorry. Okay, okay. All right. Sige. Thank you. So, we'll refer this as soon as possible, uh, Congressman Jonas, no? Uh, given the short time. So, thank you. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, Comsex has to prepare the committee report for that. Uh, we'll now call, uh, with, with due indulgence to the uh, Mayor Montero and the Panglao Group, tawagan muna natin yung bills kasi pupunta pa po silang kongreso, ha? With your indulgence, mga konsehal. Uh, the bill of uh, Congresswoman uh, or Deputy Speaker Garcia Albano, uh, Primicia Ag Agambas Paduano et al. This is an act declaring March 1 of every year a special non working holiday in the city of Dabao, Dabao, province of Dabao, to be known as Araw ng Dabao. Uh, Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the Araw ng Dabao is currently being celebrated on March 16 on every of every year by virtue of Republic Act 7551 and 7685. So on March six, March 16 is currently a special non-working holiday. Uh, good afternoon, Senator. I'd like to acknowledge the hardest working uh, member of the Senate this morning, <laughs> Senator Dick Gordon. <laughs> 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 Ma'am, sorry yes, to Oh, no problem. So, uh, to continue, um, the city government, headed by Mayor Sara Duterte, who incidentally um, asked me to convey her apologies for not being here today, as uh, she is attending to present, um, pressing business in Davao City, uh, they asked me to file this bill to correct a historical inaccuracy on the date by which the Araw ng Dawa is celeb celebrated, uh, they have uncovered evidence that March 16 is in fact not the uh, anniversary date of the city. Instead, it is March 1. So this bill uh, seeks to amend the date of the Foundation Day of the Araw ng Dawa from March 16 to March 1 and still to request that the same be considered a special non-working holiday. And I also thank our chairman, um, Chairman Angara, for filing a counterpart measure in the Senate. And that is all, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, thank you. And uh, also, good welcome, uh, Deputy Speaker Al Garcia Albano. Does Senator Gordon, you want to say anything on this bill? Which one is this? The this is the uh, Araw ng Dabao. I'm supportive of Araw ng Dabao. Okay. Right, right. Maybe we'll ask the NHCP first. Uh, what's the comment? See, Miss Miss Reno, yes. I'm in the first place. I'm just curious. Uh, so we 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 have no records on how the the R A seven six eight five was. Uh, March sixteen. Uh, yeah, oh. March sixteen. But. Uh, and then what? How did you find out it was actually March one? Uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, uh, Agabas requested the NHCP to verify the date, uh, okay. the, uh, to find the historical basis for the change from March 16 to f March 1. And we found a uh, primary report on the March 1 inauguration of Davao. That's City Hood, you're celebrating your City Hood? Uh, Foundation Day, yeah. The Foundation Day. 
Citigroup. Citigroup. Okay. Can we ask uh, Comelec? Attorney, yeah. We have no um, comment for the bill, um, Mr. Chair, because um, per our directive, um, we are only allowed to, um, we are invited for. Ah, only for those yes. with plebiscites? Yes. Okay, okay. DBM, anything, any comment? We just call you the national. objection on the bill, Your Honor. All right, sige. So, any other comments? Wala na, wala na ako nakikita ang interesado dito sa bill na to, no? So, we'll again ask the committee secretary to prepare the committee report at the soonest possible time. Uh, we'll tackle now, thank you, Deputy Speaker, for coming. We'll now tackle number four of uh, the local holidays. This is the Bill of Congressman Unico, House Bill 8696. It's an act declaring February 1 of every year a special non-working holiday in the province of Camarines Norte, repealing for the purpose RA 9090 and so forth. So, Congressman Unico, sir. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, may I request that the explanatory note on House Bill 8696 be considered as the sponsorship ship of this representation. Okay. So, any comment from, well, since we're well, in DILG, who will comment on this? NHCP? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chair, the NHCP does not uh, object, uh, support, it supports the bill. Okay. Yes, In view of Comlex's previous uh, comment, I won't ask them anymore. Senator Gordon, any comment on this? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just hope that uh, they will declare uh, Westchester Winston as a national hero. Someday. That's right. That's your that's your personal hero, no? Of course. And he's very deserving, I think. Uh, okay. So maybe Congressman Jojo will do that in his next uh, term. Actually, uh, there is already a republic act. Uh, ah, <laughs> no, no, in the province of Camarines North. Ah, so a uh, local uh, every, uh, ordinance. Um, June 29, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, Mr. okay. So you just... Uh, national. Yeah, you just national. file it and national. so it will be enacted at the national level, Senator Gordon. Yeah, I'll yeah. gladly co author that with Actually, you, Actually, just for the information of the Honorable Gordon, Mr. Chair, um, former BIR Commissioner, BYY Chato, Chato, is yeah. now my candidate for... A representative in the second district of oh. the province. Again? Yes. She's the uh, grand granddaughter. Yeah? Yeah. Grand granddaughter. Granddaughter. Okay. So it doesn't seem that there are any objections. Uh, DBM, any comment there? We interpose no objection on the okay. measure, sir. Okay. Okay. So we'll again, we'll ask the com committee secretary to prepare the report for immediate uh, signing and uh, uh, filing. Uh, for sponsorship in the plenary. So. Elvis, <laughs> Elvis. Elvis of Beagle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, we'll go back to the agenda. I, uh, part item two, uh, renaming Panglao Island to Dawis Panglao Island. Parang pinahaba, no? <laughs> House Bill 8231. Hindi Panglao Island, nagiging Dawis Panglao. That is the, this is a bill of Congressman Relampagos, an act with naming Panglao Island to Dawis Panglao Island. So we'll call the mayor first. We have with us Mayor uh, Montero. Ma'am, ano pong... Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the people of Panglao, the local government unit of Panglao Bohol, um, with this humble representation together with the members of the Sangguniang Bayan of Panglao Bohol, uh, we are so thankful to the Chairman on Committee on Local Government, the Honorable Sami Angara, for inviting us today because we vehemently object to House Bill number 8231, an act to Senator Gordon, an act renaming Panglao Island in the province of Bohol to Dawis Panglao Island. Ayaw namin po. Hindi kayo magkampi sa politika. Hindi kayo magkakampi, no? 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's beside pay. the point. But uh, <laughs> you are still the elected representative. Yes, so. whether Kampi or uh. Hinde, uh, before this house bill was passed, we, uh, the Sangunang Bayan of Tanglao, passed a resolution number 130 vehemently opposing the renaming of Isla, uh, Panglao Island into Bawis Panglao Island. And when this bill was passed uh, on the lower house, nagpasa uh, din po uli ang Sangguniang Bayan, uh, resolution number 267, uh, resolution requesting the Committee on Rules of the Senate of the Republic of the Philippines to give due course to the position of the municipality of Panglao in changing the name of Panglao Island into Dawis Panglao Island po. So here we are today. Thank you so much for yes. inviting us. Uh, Senator Gordon, I think. Uh, uh, I have two questions. Yes, Number go ahead, one, sir. Panglao is about to be famous. What are you going to call it, Panglao International Airport? Um, we already passed a resolution po to name it Panglao International Airport. Po. That's right. That's one. Second question is, what is the etymology or the historical, maybe I should ask uh, NHQ. National NHQ, of Dawis and Panglao. Panglao sa it means something in there. No? Panglao is uh, maybe it's a bit of Panglao. Uh, yes, po, Senator Gordon. There is something really there because last November 10 of 1978 during uh, President, uh, former President Marcos, uh, he had this presidential proclamation 1801 declaring Panglao Island as a tourism zone. Yes. And this, uh, uh, we based uh, in lieu of the dark clearances for the re reclassification of the real properties, uh, specifically land, no? In the two municipalities within the Panglao Island, Dawis Municipality and the Panglao Municipality, is based on the proclamation 1801, uh, the former president uh, Marcos declaring Panglao Island as tourism zone. Excuse me, Mayor. Uh, yes, sorry to interrupt, but I just want to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Coco Pimentel, the chairman Senate. of the Senate Committee on Trade. Mayor, wh why do they call it Panglao? Anong word? Anong what does it mean? Yes, Congressman. Uh, Councillor. Yung uh, may ano kami, may may word si Mr. Bisaya na. Uh, Pangao, yung uh, native uh, fishing fishing gear na yeah. made of bambos. That yeah, was yeah, that was a, a Pangao. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, and and the story uh, goes that like this: that uh, there was a Spaniard asking that fisherman, "What is the name of that of that uh, fishing gear? The fishing gear?" And he was, "Well, uh, no, what, what is the name of the of the place?" But uh, we, because the, the fisherman was uh, doing that uh, Pangao. Uh, so he told that it was Pangao, and then later on it was Panglao. translated into Pangao. Yeah. What but about but, we, but we would like also also to uh, uh, adopt also the definition of Panglao in Tagalog as a Syrian place, something like that. What about Dawis? What, we what don't know about Dawis. Because uh, uh, Pangao is the main uh, Pangao is the main industry in the whole island of Pangao. Pangao uh, fishing is yeah. the main industry using Pangao. Fish trap, a kind of fish trap. So, Panglao Island, you know, it's an island, and the main uh, industry is fishing using the Panglao. And Dawis is a town, right? The next town? Yes. Oh. Dawis is a town and I suppose within the Panglao Island. And I suppose the intention of the congressman, Radampagos, is to make sure that you internationalize not only Panglao, but Dawis. Airport, Sama Donya. Dawis Panglao. Parang, uh, yeah, Senator Cole. Chairman, so, so as I understand it, the measure seeks to rename the island, uh -huh. yes. but it does not, not the, the yeah, it does not touch on the exist the names of the existing LGUs. No. Ah, so, so, uh, so part actually, actually, uh, your honors, we have also a. Di ba dapat ay yung historic, may historical aspect? Sana. Consult the, ano, where's Ms. Reyno? Oh. Yeah. 
At saka yung technical description sa lupa. At saka yung addresses. Yeah. Addresses. So maybe we can ask Ms. Reno. Ms. Reno, would you know why the congressman filed uh, to include Dawis? It's because the town of Dawis is on the island. And what is the what is the position of NHCP on this bill? Uh, Mr. Chair, the NHCP does, uh, does not agree with the House bill. Uh, so does not agree. Uh, does not, it's not supportive of the House bill. Because uh, Panglao Island is a historic, yeah, it dates back to the Spanish period, mm -hmm. Isla de Panglao. The name Panglao is Isla de Panglao. Uh, what about Dawis one? Since Panglao is the name of the island, so it is our policy not to re rename natural features mm -hmm. unless these are reverted. Dawis, is, is, Dawis is a town on no, Panglao Island? Yes, sir. Oh. Tama ba? Yeah, I see. Within, within. No. Right, right, okay. But there are many cases naman where there are, there's an island named where it does not in encapsulate or include all the towns on the island. Tama ho ba? Marami namang ganun, di ba? Yes, uh, yeah. meant to change the name of an island anyway. Do you, would you know? Since in the absence of the DILG, uh, who would know what's the requirement to change the name of an island? Is there a legal, because when we convert a city, there's a, there's a requirement, population, etc. But for an island, is there a requir requirement or Congress can just do it? Yeah, con Congress can do it. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's... Uh, <laughs> All right. So would our councillors care to comment? Uh, Councillor Hora, anything to add, sir, before we tackle the next bill? Hmm. Uh, I think that that was all. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the the officials of Davos also in our in our uh, communication sometimes uh, they insist on uh, having. Uh, they want also to be improved. Now, they are thinking that na renaming the island will also put them in the same place with Panglao, which does not, uh, we, we, we think that it does not follow, actually. Yeah, by, re by simply renaming the island into uh, uh, Davis Panglao, uh, they will also ride on with, the, with the what Panglao is now. But eventually, because of the opening of the airport, But actually, uh, Mr. Senator, uh, the, you, we, we just, uh, with your question earlier, uh, the airport of Panglao was being also, was, was its name, Buhol Panglao International Airport. So that's what I mean, because mm. I recommended during my time as secretary to airport. build Panglao, Panglao Airport. Just like Silay, just like like in, in, in So we, we also objected. Be. We also objected that uh, uh, your order, but uh, we, our objection was not uh, heard. Ah, okay. So Buhol Panglao. Buhol, Buhol Panglao. So, so parang ang Buhol laging barangay na Panglao. Okay, how about councillors uh, or Machuelos? Yes, uh, Your Honor. We are brother. Your Honor. Councillor, sige po. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. As what uh, manifested by my colleague here, so I have been uh, adopting what is a uh, comment, Honorable Chair. Okay. Uh, what about your brother? Thank uh, you, uh, Your Honor. We are here uh, with our mayor to manifesting our uh, sentiments and our uh, objections for the renaming of uh, the name of our town. We, don't, we, uh, we want it to remain as it is. Yeah, name uh, the island. island. Yeah. The island. Oh. The island. The Councillor Velasco. Oh. Uh, like them, uh, Your Honor, I just support uh, our intention to come here, which is uh, we strongly uh, oppose the bill of Congress Thank you. Okay. See, Mr. Fudiranan. Yes, po. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Wag di naman siguro ko kontrain si Mayor, di ba? Wala ka na trabaho bukas pag ginawa mo yun. As manifested po, Mayor, I have not seen very good reason why we need to change the name. Okay. okay, so we'll just uh, keep consulting on this bill, <laughs> given um, it's difficult to resolve it at the moment. So thank you for your presence here uh, to the officials. Uh, we'll now tackle. Thank you, Mayor. Salamat. Salamat, uh, Honorable Councillors and Officials of Panglao.
We have also House Bill 8697, that's number three of the local holidays. Uh, this is a bill filed by Representative Jenny Barzaga, C. Alvarado, Primicia Sagabas, declaring November 26th of every year a special non-working holiday in the city of Dasmariñas province of Cavite and all its barangays to be known as the Foundation Day of the city of Dasmariñas. We have with us Ms. Uh, uh, Bernadette Taurel of uh, the office of Rep. Jenny. Ma'am, go ahead. No? Um, good afternoon to our Honorable Chair, Senator Sonny Angara, and um, also to Senator Richard Gordon and Senator Aquilino Coco Pimentel. I'm sitting in on behalf of Congresswoman Jennifer Austria Brazaga. Um, I'm Bernadette Q. Laurel, her Chief of Staff. House Bill 7741, which is an act declaring November 26th of every year as a special non-working holiday in the city of Des Marinas, province of Cavite, and all its barangays to be known as the Foundation Day of the city of Des Marinas, is the day when our people come together as one to celebrate the Paruparo Festival, which commemorates the foundation of the city of Des Marinas. Des Marinas was um, converted into a city by uh, virtue of Republic Act 9723, otherwise known as an act converting the municipality of Desmarinas in the province of Cavite into a component city to be known as the city of Desmarinas. It was signed into law on October 15, 2009. Pursuant to uh, Section 58 of Republic Act 9723, a plebiscite was conducted on November 25, 2009 to ask approval of the Desmarinas of the cityhood of Desmarinas. At midnight of the following day, with the polling place closed and the votes counted, the yes vote won overwhelmingly. This 26th day of November marked the formal ratification by the Desmarinas of the city charter. Actually, this bill was originally sponsored by then Representative LPJF Barzaga Jr. during the 15th Congress, made its way through the third reading, but unfortunately did not become a law. It is in this premise that the approval and enactment of the bill is earnestly sought by the younger side. Thank you very much and good afternoon. <laughs> Salamat po. Yep, thank you. Uh, from the senators, anyone want to ask uh, questions? NHCP? Uh. Uh, Mr. Chair, the NHCP objects to the date November 26, uh, uh, 27, uh, 26, I'm sorry, 26. Uh, we recommend 25 November because that's when the people of the Smarinas express their vote and the formal announcement of COMELEC like the following days, but an affirmation of the, the, uh, the approval of the people. So November 25 was the day of the plebiscite. Actually, ma'am, uh, this uh, concern was raised during the third meeting. And uh, the reason behind 26 be being the date of the, the cityhood or the ratification is that during that time, the vote was uh, conducted manually. Actually, the yes vote was um, 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 overly, uh, overwhelmingly won the midnight following day. So uh, this has been um, practiced for, for the last seven years. And that's why uh, we, we appeal that we continue to celebrate um, our ratification or the foundation of the cityhood every 26th instead of the 25th. You're saying, ma'am, that the voting continued? Yes, until midnight. Uh, uh, because it was uh, manually counted that time. It wasn't, uh, I mean, um, uh, the machine, <laughs> or we don't have the, ele um, what's this? The counting that was made, that was made during that time was uh, manual. So it's the, the very reason why we appeal to you uh, that you consider the 26th being the, the date of our cityhood instead of the 25th. Because the, the, the people were, were voting on the 25th, but the, which is the counting, uh, was, uh, yes, the completion of the, the count was made on the following day, midnight the following day. So it's just that, um, Exactly, Paul. Chairman, uh, even for example, the 1987 Constitution, ang date na binibigay natin niya, February 2, 1987 yata. So, 
is that's the date of the ratification so in the in the plebiscite so i don't know if you will follow that no? pero but de definitely uh Desmarinas city will get its special non working holiday to commemorate its cityhood di ba meron yan it's the matter of ano yung tamang date let us ask the NHCP. Is there a hard and fast rule there uh, on on uh, when to have the uh, foundation day or uh, what, what is the rule in general there? Uh, in this case, sir, uh, our, we, we we don't have any rules now, but uh, we f we follow the, the the people's decision as being the higher uh -huh. uh, basis of for the. <coughs> Right. So it's, it's not really a, a rule set in stone. It's not, a, it's not one of the Ten Commandments. And if the people uh, want to celebrate it on the 26th. Actually, that's the opinion yeah. of Kong Jenny Berzaga and yeah. Mayor P.D. Berzaga, that we continue yeah. to celebrate. I would rather respect their... Uh, Thank you very much, they're Mr. The ones Chair. The exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. sir. Uh, the explanation sounds plausible. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, NHCP will reconsider po our position. Ah, salamat, salamat. Thank you, Ms. Thank Reino, you, Ms. Reino, for the consideration. Salamat, salamat. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Salamat. Chair. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, DBM, comment? DBM? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chair, as long as it, ha it has no budgetary implications, then <laughs> 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 we have no comment on the bill. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be costly, sir. Yeah. <laughs> May bagong we have budget to, yun, kasi to change the, the logo, the letterheads, oh. yes, for and everything. Yes, okay. Sir. Any other comments on uh, House Bill eight six nine seven? Walana, walana po yata. So we'll have the com comsec prepare the committee report. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Gordon, for uh, dropping by. Why are you on your knees, sir? Right. Because I'm thanking God. <laughs> 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 Nobody told me uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all follow his example of... Uh, Once in a while, you have to yeah. be humble. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Senator Gordon. So we go to... Thanks, boss. House Bill 8700 of Representatives Kari C. Alvarado Primicias, an act declaring de December 27 of every year a special non-working holiday in the city of Baybay, province of Leyte, in celebration of its Binaybayon festival. So declaring, teka, December 7, December 27? It says December 7. 27. 27. Uh, NHCP? Sir, the NHCP uh, found no historical basis for... No historical basis. Yeah, for December 27. Uh, what we found, sir, was... Uh, the Catholic uh, director, uh, it says that the uh, parish was of Baybay was erected on 27 February 1836. So that's it, sir. Okay. No. Any other comments? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. I should have acknowledged you first. Uh, but yes, uh, go yes, ahead, sir. yeah. I'm uh, Attorney Abel Yer, the uh, legal staff of Congressman Carey from uh, the 5th District of Leyte. So um, what we have is a city ordinance that was um, passed by the Office of the Sangguniang Pangungsod on June 5, 2017, an ordinance declaring um, every 27th day of um, December of every year as uh, Binay Bayan Festival Day. And we ask that uh, this be respected as the day to highlight the um, the presentation of Baybay City's um, social cultural activities. This is uh, this date is traditionally <coughs> the, the day where um, they celebrate. Um, they have a immaculate conception festival on this day as well, and they have um, different um, celebrations. And uh, 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 this is uh, the day where um, we were asking that this be declared as a non-working holiday so that those from abroad, um, uh, the local residents can properly celebrate the, the holiday. How uh, years do you celebrate? Um, well, sir, ever, ever since po eh. Since um, two... Yeah, 
just, just <laughs> give an exact <laughs> answer, but just maybe 10 years, 20 years, 30 yes, years? Um, yes, sir. More, more. More. Okay. So, naging traditional that date has been a traditional celebration. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, any comments uh, from the body? Dole, Dole. Yeah, baka yung taga Dole. Good afternoon, um, Mr. Chair. Uh, Dole's recommendation for the declaration of special non-working days should be declared as special working holidays. Working? Working. What is, uh, what is the, is that a negotiable uh, no, for Congressman Carey? Uh, before Paul, Senator Amira. Uh, Senator um, Drillon will also block it on the floor if it's a <laughs> non-working holiday. Yes, um, before, um, we, we asked for uh, two, two holidays. Yeah, yeah, I'm going yes. to call that bill after, no? You have one yes. uh, on so the second page of the agenda. So in the committee hearings, um, Senator, they, um, the previous committee, uh, the committee on the revision <coughs> of laws, they, um, they agreed that this uh, holiday, the Binay Bayan Festival, be declared as a non-working holiday, and the other holiday be declared as a working holiday, the Bye Bye City Charter Day. So uh, I think uh, uh, that was the proposal that one, one of the holidays that we are asking for be declared a non-working holiday, and the other is a working holiday. So you insist that it be a non-working holiday? Yes, sir. OK. Sige. Mas mahirap pa sa'yo, just for your information. Sige. Any other comments? Uh, kung wala na po, will the uh, committee will study that matter and uh, refer the ma them to the plenary. So House Bill 68698, uh, again, we'll call Attorney Abelyar. Uh, Could you tell us what this is about? Yes, June 16? Um, yes, sir. What is uh, the significance of the date? Yes, on, on this date, um, uh, there was a... Uh, the Charter of Bye Bye City was officially approved and declared through a plebiscite by virtue of RA 9389 on June 16, 2007. And, that, and we ask that this milestone in the history of Bye Bye City be recognized as a, as a working holiday in, in the city of Bye Bye. It's the day where the plebiscite was... Um, the, it's the date that uh, you voted? Uh, it's uh, uh, official approval and declaration through plebiscite of um, the city of Pai Pai. Okay. It's the Charter City Day, sir. Yeah. Okay. Any comments, Senator Kong? Yeah. yeah. So in, in effect, uh, Mr. Chairman, there, there we have already discussed two, two bills celebrating uh, <coughs> the cityhood or foundation day of two cities, but we are treating them differently. Mm -hmm. In Das Marinas, it will be a special non-working holiday. In Bye Bye, you want it to be a special working holiday. So uh, well, we follow what the uh, the committee's tendency is to follow, Your Honor, the, what the local uh, oh. congressman you know, wants. Okay, but so the local, see, uh, the congressman, uh, when he was made to choose which of the two events he wants to celebrate be the non-working day, he chose the festival correct. over yes. the cityhood. Correct. Yes, yeah. Senator. That's correct. Because it has uh, religious implications as well as uh, for the city. So w with this one, it's just, it's recognizing the, the charter, uh, the charter yeah, day. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's the choice of the uh, author or the proponent. That's right. Okay, but in Cagayan de Oro City, I know, holiday day. Cityhood. 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 Do you have okay. any other holiday in Cagayan de Oro? Wala na, hindi, no, no, not of a religious uh, yeah. nature. No. So the, the cityhood, okay. So this Binay Bayon has a re, re, is a religious celebration? Um, the, the other one, um, Senator, the... The, H, the uh, 8700. Eight, 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 um, yes, the, the, this is... Um, this is also the Immaculate Concept, like the Immaculate Conception Festival of Binay uh, I'm just making that observation, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you uh, uh, for that uh, observation, uh, Senator Coco. Yes, Any other comment? NHCP? Is the date accurate? Based on the Catholic Directory, the date 
the Feast of Immaculate Conception of... Ah, hindi po, yung June 16 na ho tayo. I'm sorry. Opo. Uh, the the second, NHGP the second does bill, not uh, object po. Okay. So, no other comment. We'll uh, refer that already to the plenary since uh, working naman. So, I don't think any senator will uh, oppose. Some senators have just raised for the information of the body. Nagre-reklamo sila kapag masyado marami na yung non-working holidays. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah. So, we go to the... Uh, item four of the agenda is the creation of barangays. We've disposed of the holidays. We we'll now call House Bill 8230. It's an act creating a barangay to be known as Barangay 201 Zone 20 in the city of Pasay, Metropolitan Manila by Rep. Calixto Rubiano. I think her COS, my schoolmate, Attorney no. Dennis Accord is here. Honorable Chair, I'm the city yeah. administrator for Pasay. A city administrator, yeah, who was once a uh, drummer, drummer, gaba? A vocalist. Uh, vocalist yeah. of... Uh, <laughs> The UP Law Band. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. 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 So it, uh, it sort of uh, labors under certain constraints. We cannot give it directly internal revenue allotment. It's just share based on the local government code because that, that requires an act of Congress, which is the reason why we are here. Uh, for so many years, we've only been giving Barangay 201 a financial, uh, only financial assistance. So we would also like be able to do that to give 201 its just share in the internal revenue allotment locally generated by the city and that the uh, Barangay to one be fully capacitated to per to uh, to perform all its functions under the local government code. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also want to acknowledge the presence of Barangay Captain Jaime Montilao, who is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, no, in in Pasay. Thank you. Biggest. Thank you for coming, sir. You, would you like to say anything in support of the measure, sir? Uh, good afternoon, especially to our. Uh, committee Chairman Senator San Angara and Senator Aquilino Pimentel. Uh, medyo pinaglalaban po talaga namin ito dahil po isa po sa pinaka pangalawa sa pinakamalaki ang aking barangay. E medyo mahirap kumilos dahil wala po kami sariling budget, wala kami sariling era kundi ito ay binibigay lang na tulong mula sa city na aming mahal na Mayor Antonino G. Calixto. Pero kahit papaano, nagagawa po namin sa pamagitan lang po ng 500,000 a month sa napakalaki po ng aking barangay, medyo nahirapan po kami. Kaya ninanais ko po na sana mabigyan po kami ng, uh, ng era mula sa national para makagawa po kami ng uh, at makapagserbisyo po kami at makagawa po kami ng maraming project para sa kapakanan ng aking mga constituent. Maraming salamat po. Salamat, salamat po, uh, Kapitan. At uh, qualified naman ho uh, sa population requirement. In fact, sobra-sobra uh, rin ho. So, any other comment? Uh, Comelec? Do you have a comment on this? Huh? Uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Chair, we pose no objection, um, considering that Section 3 thereof um, provides that the plebiscite requirement has already been complied with. We have no objection to the passage of the bill. Okay. So, DBM, any comment? Huh? Yeah. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, we interpose no objection on the proposed crea recreation of uh, Barangay 201. Okay, if there's no objection, then we'll uh, refer it to the plenary. We'll prepare the committee report for the barangay. Salamat, salamat. Na integrate na yung picture taking sa committee proceedings po natin. Na para simple na lang ho. Dira derecho. Uh, next item is uh, the bill of Congressman Gonzalez. Uh, 
of Albais, House Bill 8206, separating the city of La Medalla from Barangay Caratagan, in the municipality of Pio Duran, constituting the distinct and independent barangay to be known as Barangay La Medalla. Who is here from the office of uh, Congressman Gonzalez? Any representative here? They've sent a position paper. Okay. Uh, have the qualifications been met? Population has not been met. Oh, okay. Okay, so we'll put that under studies. We'll go to the next bill. Congressman Pacquiao. House Bill 8232. An act separating the city of Ladol from Barangay Poblacion, municipality of Alabel, constituting it indistinct and independent barangay to be known as Barangay Ladol. Where's Congressman Pacquiao? Qualified? Qualified? Well, this is qualified for the record, so we may decide to forward the committee report. House Bill 8205, Rep. Amante. Yes, yes. Oh. Please strike from the record. Salamat po sa pagdalo at pagsuporta po sa bill. Pakiregards po kay Kong at kay Mayor. Thank you, thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Indigenous. Ah, okay. Yeah, it, they are applying for that exemption under the local government code for uh, indigenous peoples. They, where the population does not apply. May other requirement ba doon? Pagkaganon? Wala na. Okay, so... I guess the NCIP, does the NCIP have to certify to that? Uh, yes, that yes. Is there a certification? Uh, we're requested. Uh, okay, pending that. Okay, so we're awaiting the reply. So we'll, pag nakuha na po yun, pwede na pong i-refer yun sa plenario. Thank you. So we'll now go to item five. This is, uh, the, these are the bills on barangay benefits. We have Senate Bill 83, an act amending, uh, increasing the benefits of barangay officials. Then we have Senate Bill 182, providing for the regularization of Punong Barangay. Then we have Senate Bill, hey Bill, ka ba, Coco? Ah, meron, no? Establish Magdakarta for barangays. Uh oh. Senator Lacan, upgrading the benefits and incentives. So well, we can take, if uh, Senator Coco is all right, it's all right with you, we take them together. Para isang discussion na lang, oh. Then we have uh, Senator Ejercito creating the Barangay Pension Fund. Senator Recto providing for social security benefits. Senator Ejercito, benefits and incentives to accredited daycare workers. Uh, tapos yung sa amin ni Senator Coco, an act to establish the Magdakarta for Barangay, which is just an umbrella for uh, various uh, uh, Barangay benefits for government employees with fixed salaries, allowances, insurance, medical and dental coverage. Retirement benefits, other fringe benefits. Yan. Tapos, uh, ensuring appropriate s services and facilities, supply of clean and potable water, public transportation, schools, health centers, barangay halls, etc. So, wala dito ang DILG, sayang. Yung dapat ang <laughs> mag-discuss nun. No? Uh, maybe we'll ask the people who will pay for this. Uh, yeah. We'll ask DBM <laughs> what are their comments on this. Ano bang... Ano bang, uh, uh, anong nakukuha ng barangay captains ngayon? Allowances lang, di ba? Would you know what, what they get exactly? Sir, Mr. Chair, sa ngayon uh -huh. po meron po silang, uh, based on the local budget circular dated 1996, meron po silang ano, pera, yung personal uh, economic relief allowance, additional compensation and year-end benefits. However, sir, um, we recognize the fact that we need to somehow increase their... Uh, Magkano yun? Uh, Magkano ba yun? Sir. Right now, sir, the barangay captain would be salary grade 14. That would be around 20,000 pesos, the basic pay. 27,000, the basic pay. A for month. The, a month, sir. And in a year, they get what, 14 months? Ano bang nakukuha nila? Ah. Up to 14. Up to 14 months, Up to 14. Sir. They have then the mid-year and the end of the year. They may pera pa sila. Yes, may, may pera, pera. every year. Magkano yung pera? Yung pera is monthly ba? Or 2,000, sir, per month. Per month. So, nakaka-almost 30. Parang yes, sir. Gross. Okay. And how about the kagawads? 
What the car would get? SG10, sir. Magkano naman yan? 20,000, sir, plus the pera allowance, 22,000. Congressman Trijib. Yeah. Uh, any comment that you'd like to share with the body? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, on, as a general, sir, as a general comment on the bills, uh, we just noticed, sir, that we have a cap on the local government code of 55% for, for the For personal PS. service, yeah. yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So we are just worried that for the lower level municipalities, they will not be able to sustain this right, one. Right, right. Oh, that's but always a concern. But for the cities and the highly urbanized municipalities. Well, we can amend the cap in, in the case of some municipalities. Yes, sir. Diba? That may be one of the options. Oh, oh one option, yon. So how about uh, in terms of pensions, wala silang natatanggap, no? Yes, sir. But they are qualified. Is there a voluntary program for GSIS for them? Ganon? Kung gusto nilang mag, ano? Uh, maybe we can ask them here. Andito pala sila eh. Tanong muna namin sa GSIS, then we'll get back to DBM. Mr. Man Rodrigo Manuel, sir. We, uh, yeah, any comment on these bills? Maybe tell us muna, ano bang may programa ba para sa kapitan? Kasi pagka, di ba sa SSS yung equivalent niya, pag self-employed ka, pwede ka maghulog uh, ng sarili mo. Good afternoon, Your Honors. Uh, at present po, wala po tayong benefit na or social security program for our bar barangay officials. Uh, the last time that we have uh, is the BOIF or the Barangay Official Insurance Fund. Uh, ito po isang personal accident insurance na ang premiums po ay ang, ang nagbabayad po ng gagaling po sa national government through the DBM. However, we already stopped yung, yung pagbabayad po ng benefits uh, because of the arrearages na lumaki na po, hindi na po nakapag-remit sa GSIS ang DBM. So, in-stop po ito. Uh, Doon naman po sa proposal to to grant them a social security and life insurance coverage. Uh, we already submitted our position paper, particularly on Senate Bill numbers 800 and 1106, uh, wherein we fully support the proposal to provide social security benefits and life insurance coverage for our barangay officials, uh, other volunteer workers, and uh, daycare or uh, workers po, uh, provided that uh, the conditions as required under RA 8291 or the GSIS law are met. So, requirements nun kung gusto nilang mag, ano, mag -miembro. Uh, For them to oh. be covered, sir, uh, ang requirement po, first, oh. uh, they must have a fixed monthly salary. Kasama, which they do, right? Uh, 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 and then uh, the remittance of compulsory premium contributions for both life mm -hmm. and retirement, okay. uh, both personal and government mm -hmm. share. And of course, uh, the age, uh, the, uh, the age po at the time of election or appointment to office uh, should not be, uh, should, should be less than 65. Less than 65. Uh, po. 64 pwede. Pwede po. So, one year lang siya magbabayad ng ano. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yun po yung mga Ano yung ano doon? Magkano kakaltasin nyo sa kung sakasakali? Okay. Uh, at present sa po, for mm -hmm. our regular members, mm -hmm. uh, yung personal share po, 9% uh, is equivalent to 9% of the basic salary of the employee. Mm -hmm. At may katumbas po itong government share, which is equivalent to 12% of the basic salary of the employee. So all in all, 21% uh, po ang contribution. 9% mm -hmm. goes to the, uh, out of that 20, 21%, 4% goes to the life insurance fund and the remaining 17% goes to the retirement fund. Okay. Ano kung one term lang siya? Ganun. How, how what happens when he's out of office? So he will uh, have to continue paying the premium. No po. Uh, once oh. uh, a member is separated from service, yeah. automatic po ang termination ng kanyang membership co coverage. Ah, and okay. uh, he can avail of the benefits. Paano kung nanalo ulit siya in three years? Uh, Nakabalik siya, ma-reactivate yun? Opo. 
it, it will be, pero counted yung nabayar niya dati. Yes, sir. Uh, provided that no benefits are paid dun sa previous uh, service po niya. Okay. Senator Coco, anything to ask from our resource person? Well, uh, my bill actually makes uh, all all barangays model barangay. So we, we so we are really after uh, that we should be very clear about the costs in yes, uh, doing yes. this. So tama, tama. We are getting some ideas, pero hindi pa. Hindi pa klaro. Oh, hindi pa. Kulang pa. Oh, Marami yeah. pa tayong kailangan na uh, tanungin. Right. Uh, okay na po. Maybe DBM may calculations pa tayo dyan? Sir, Maybe uh, we can start doing some calculations since matagal na rin na pag-uusapan to eh, di ba? Yes, sir. Oh. We'll provide na lang po an official position Sige. paper on the issue. Okay. But on the various, ano, siguro? On the various uh, bills, sir. Kasi you can separate naman the issue of uh, pensions from the issue of uh, salary yes, increases. Sir. Yes, sir. But initially oh. po, uh, we have noticed that uh, for, for us civilian employees, it would be 15 years minimum of service for you to get a pension. Right. Oh. So that would be the, our first and po, na notice namin. Eh, nag-15 years naman sila kasi panay extension ng yes, kongreso sir. ng <laughs> term nila, di ba? Five years, five years, Possible five years. Naman, Pag nag-three three terms sila na five years, naka-15 years na sila. Yes, Oo. So, ano pa bang pwedeng pag-aralan? Anyway, take a look at the bills, uh, uh, sir. Tapos, uh, get back to us. I'm sure the cost will be huge given the numbers involved, no? But we have to start somewhere, so. Sa daycare workers, uh, any comments here? What do they care? What do they care workers get? Ito malit, di ba? In daycare, parang binibigyan lang ng mayor yan, di ba? Do we have an uh, idea of what the institutionalized uh, uh, emoluments are for daycare workers? So for daycare workers, based on the local budget circular gate, they are now on SG salary gate six. Six. Oh. So that would be around fourteen thousand pesos sir, per month. Fourteen thousand. <coughs> Maximum, sir. Ah, it's not, not as bad as I thought, hopefully. Yung barangay health workers, magkano yung ganun? Do you have that figure? It's salary grade 4. That would be around 10,000 pesos, sir. Ah, okay. Sila bang lowest, yung barangay health workers? For we have, sir, utility worker with salary grade 1. Ah, okay. We have with us attorney Nervais. You're here to comment on these bills also? Uh, uh -oh. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair, uh, Honorable uh -oh. Bimentel. Um, thank you very much for inviting Pag-ibig Fund to yes. comment to comment on the following Senate bills. We previously submitted our position paper for Senate bills, Senate bill numbers 800 and 1106. And um, to reiterate our position, we fully support the Senate bills, and we just have... Um, three comments uh, for Senate Bill number 800, two of which are with, ref with respect to form and one for a point of clarification. Um, for Senate Bill 800, Mr. Chair, um, we just want to make a correction that um, instead of Home Mutual Development Fund, may we suggest that um, the bills be corrected to reflect Home Development Mutual Fund uh, also, for a second, for instance, is made to um, insurance uh, providers which grant pension at the end of membership term. So, um, just to be accurate, Your Honors, may we just suggest that the nature of the benefit provided by Pag E Big Fund be reflected in Section 7 and um, that the Provident Fund Savings Program be stated. For the last, um, point your honor um, we, we just want to uh, be clarified if the intention is to make a membership under the GSIS mandatory because if that is the case um, the membership under Pag e Big Fund will also be mandatory so um, under section 6 if, if membership will be mandatory we would like to suggest the removal of the word voluntary that's all for Senate Bill number 800 your honors Laging bang kasama yun? Pag GSIS, may automatic pag-ibig na? Yes, you're Ganun right. Ganon yun. Ah, okay. Any idea of the cost of uh, how much you would need to 
kakaltas inyo sa sweldo ng kapitan. Pagka, um, your honors, uh, the, right now, 9, 9, 21%, 9 plus 12. Mm, Ayo, right now, your honors, the mandatory uh, remittances amount to 100 for the employee and 100 for the employer. Ah, steady That's lang it. yun. Yes, your honor. Ah, okay. Why do you say, attorney, that once you're covered by a GSIS, you should you should also be covered by Pagibig. Pag yes, Bakit? Your Honor. Um, under our IRR, po. Uh, Can we not by law uh, separate the two, the couple, the two? Because, um, for example, para inasum natin na nationwide, may housing need itong, oh, But no, they're after their retirement or death benefits or insurance coverage, or not necessarily. Mm -hmm an interest in a housing loan or uh, kasi nationwide na ito pinag-uusapan. So, there must be a way uh, or, or Congress should have the power to also decouple the two. Yes, Your Honors, uh, actually just to clarify, um, the uh, membership in the GSIS will mean mandatory coverage under the Pagibig Fund. How currently, um, we have a voluntary membership um, scheme for um, self-employed and other working groups, Your Honor. So right now, um, some barangay officials are under the voluntary coverage. The difference is um, the mandatory coverage uh, provides for two components. So one is the employer contribution and the employee contribution. For the voluntary savings, it's just the employee's contribution, Your Honor. So that's why I, I wanted to be clarified, Your Honor, if... Yes, Your Honor. So if our bills now will make them... Uh Mandatory uh, mandatorily covered by GSIS. Sigo, uh, this we can adjust the wording in the sense that they do not need to be mandatorily covered by Pagibi. Yes, Your Honor. Kasi additional 100, 100 yun eh. Yes, Your Honor. Government din yung 100 eh. Dama? Yes, Your Honor. So, uh, Mr. Chair, I mean, yun lang siguro. Good point. Very good point, Senator Coco. Thank you for that. Yeah, no, no. And the, the maybe some who are more interested in some other benefits than the I'm just curious, ilan yung voluntary uh, naga avail under the na local government uh, barangay uh, official? Right now, Your Honor, I don't have the data. But could you, but could you, be, would yes. it be difficult or would it be possible to be furnished as a data just to I get will, a. I will provide Your I Honor. Think, yeah, yes. Sige, sige. Yeah. Any other comments on. Uh, you're done with just the uh, just the same comment, Your Honor, for uh, Senate, uh, Senate Bill 1106, mm -hmm. that if they become mandatorily covered by the GSIS, they become mandatorily covered by the Pagibig Fund. Okay. Yes, yes, but, but the funds are administered separately, right? Separately. So if we cover an additional 10,000 people, example, lang, under GSIS, but we exempt them from Pagibig coverage, it does not affect the Pagibig fund, the viability of the fund. Tama? No, Your Honor. Yes, no? so, yes, Your Honor. So pwedeng, ah, pwedeng gawin. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, DBM, anything else to add here? No more additional comments, Mr. Chair. Okay. So maybe we need to study this further, Senator Coco. I think there's quite, uh, maybe we'll await some figures from uh, the DBM and uh, the others to give us a better understanding. Dolly, meron mo ba kayong comments sa uh, unfair labor practice ba yung ginagawa natin sa mga barangays? Wala naman po. Hindi <laughs> naman po. <laughs> okay. Sir, Sir Manuel, any comment before we uh, adjourn? Anong tingin nyo dito? Magagawa pa natin to, Medyo suntok sa buwan to. Uh, kaya naman po. Kaya naman po. Okay. Yes, Senator Kawa. Yeah, position paper in the ALG? Wala. Uh, wala pa yata, no? Yeah, let's ask them to well, submit, uh, please. Can we ask them, please? Yeah. In fact, uh, they, should be, they should be sending a representative here, given the importance of the subject matter, no? So, Senator Coco, any other comments? Uh, we'll uh, maybe we'll suspend the hearing uh, till further notice. Thank you, thank you to all the guests who stayed. Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Good afternoon.